Thank you, Tony. And our Pinpoint Weather team coverage continues now. Road crews are getting ready to head out in just a few hours and start pre-treating those roads ahead of the approaching storm. This as we learn more about how cities and towns are working to stay ahead of the storm. Highway News reporter Kelly Sullivan has more on the preparations now. She's live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Kelly. Well, Mike and Shannon, you mentioned in just a few hours from now, crews all over the state will be loading up with sand and salt, getting ready to pre-treat those roads. And not only is it the heavy snow, but also the strong winds that will have homeowners and businesses concerned, especially along the water. Out in Matunic, it really is the calm before the storm. But the ocean mist is a little nervous of what these waves could do, crashing onto a less protected area as a new seawall is being constructed. Right now, our biggest concern is with the project going on next door that the wall will do its job. It's done its job for a long time, but it's the most exposed it's ever been. Hopefully it'll get done soon so we don't have to face these things or kind of be on edge ever again. Out on the roads, crews all over the state are gearing up for this late winter storm. All the plows are ready to go. All the vendors have been called in and notified that they're going to be called in the morning. Nearly 40 plows in Cumberland, plus loaders and backhoes, will report early in the morning to clear the roads there. And in the capital city, the goal is to have the streets clear for Wednesday morning's commute. Whatever this storm throws at us, we'll be ready. You know, we have the game plan in place, we have the equipment, and we'll be sure that it's curb to curb by the people, time people wake up on Wednesday morning. The governor didn't declare a state of emergency or issue a travel ban, but she has a very clear message if you have no reason to be out tomorrow. Stay home, stay home. I hope this is the last time we have to do this this year. Spring ought to be around the corner. And spring is actually just around the corner. It's next Monday. Hard to believe that with this snowstorm approaching. But again, if you don't have to go out on the roads tomorrow, you're urged to stay home. Let the road crews do their jobs. And if you have a non-emergency issue, dial 311. Reporting live in East Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kelly. And as bad as the storm is here, is it expected to be even worse in certain parts of Massachusetts? Western Mass has a chance to see more than two feet of snow. A stark contrast to parts of the Cape they're only going to see a few inches. Governor Charlie Baker speaking out before the March blizzard. But they may get up tomorrow morning, look out the window and not see much. Um, but the most important point I can make there is once it starts to snow, every report we've had on this is it's going to snow hard and fast for a long period of time. And it will create whiteout conditions and it will create issues for people who are out there trying to plow the roads and keep the streets clean. And to the extent that people can stay off the roads, that would be great. Yeah, Baker with some words of advice there for those wanting to venture out tomorrow. And our team coverage continues. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live from the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom in New Bedford. Caroline. Well, Shannon, a lot of things to note here tonight in New Bedford. City offices are closed tomorrow. City schools are closed tomorrow. A parking ban takes effect in just a couple of hours and officials and residents are getting ready. With just hours until we see the first flake, Saul is quiet in downtown New Bedford. I thought it was going to be crazy, but it wasn't that crazy, so it was good. We caught up with last minute shoppers Monday night who were stocking up for the storm. I wanted some bananas and uh, wanted she wanted some, some cheese bread. <laughs> While some get ready for a day off from work, others we talked to were gearing up to brave the conditions. Me and my buddy are going to be plowing tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're expecting for snowfall right now, but uh, we'll see. You know, we have a couple places guaranteed that we have to plow. Out. Pelicus will join the dozens of other drivers hitting the roads on Tuesday. Day. Our uh, trucks are all plowed up. We have about 120 trucks that we put out for every storm, and uh, we'll be treating the roads probably uh, starting about 3 o'clock in the morning. Mayor Mitchell tells us the city's parking ban goes into effect at midnight, and because of the storm, trash services will also be postponed by a day. The impending weather is also digging into the budget. What drives the budget primarily is uh, overtime costs. When you get a storm on the weekend, everybody on the plows is entitled to overtime. And look, they, they work hard. I'm not begrudging them that, but it, but it does uh, it does get expensive. The mayor tells us he wasn't expecting the snow after a quiet February, and unfortunately, the budget wasn't either. The city is already over the allotted $450,000 budgeted annually for snow removal, and that could worsen following tomorrow's storm. And another cause for concern here in New Bedford is that a half marathon is taking place on Sunday. So Mayor Mitchell said he's going to urge his crews to make sure that marathon route is clear of any debris, ice or snow so those runners don't encounter any problems. Reporting live in New Bedford tonight with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.